Hi, it's Tony Buck again. What did I do this time? I built some solar collectors. That's hot water collectors. They take the sun's heat and transfer it to water and you can use it. The other kind is um, silicon and they absorb the sun and they create electricity. This does not create electricity. I said to myself, what's my biggest b energy bill? It's heating my house in winter. Here it is from my neighbor's house. It's 120 square feet, 10 by 12. I built it myself. I'll show you the basic procedure of how I built it. The 250 gallons of water in this tank are going to be pumped up to the roof little by little, collecting heat, and that's going to help heat my house. Here I am making the inside. It's all copper and aluminum. You have to be good at welding, uh, sorry, at plumbing. You've got to be able to solder all these joints together. You've got to be able to measure stuff, and here I am you know, doing the basic plumbing work, cutting, get everything ready for the joints. This is the header, it's three quarter inch copper. And it's going to transfer the water up the one eight, uh, the half inch pipe that goes up to the other header and out of the collector. Here's the aluminum um, flashing I used as an absorber. This, this makes everything hot inside the collector and transfers the heat to the copper pipe. This whole thing cost me about $2,000 when I add up all the parts and of course my labor as well. This is a jig I made with 1x4s and some, some board which I routed out to give me the, um, the dimples I needed to bang the aluminum into it. There it is. I made a, put a copper pipe, I screwed a copper pipe, drilled some clearance holes there to put some drywall screws in the pipe to hold it to some plywood so I could use it as a... A, a template maker so I could bang that into the grooves that I cut in the board you can see that at the right hand corner and this way I make these uh, nice grooves which fit the copper pipe and transfer the heat it's not perfect but it did a really good job there it is and um, you know I'm gonna be putting those on here they are I'm using them as gauges now to um, show you how to uh, put them into the three quarter inch copper header now if you're not very good at this stuff don't make them in fact you know I was barely not going to make my own but I wanted to they're seven hundred dollars a piece last time I checked that's August 9 2009 this is a four by ten it's a little bit bigger than that because I'm using ten foot pipe but you can buy them for seven hundred a piece I'm making three basically I advise you to make to buy them and fit them on the roof if you've got the skill because it, it does take a lot to make these and you want to get these joints. Fortunately, I had no leaks. The way I test these is I put three quarter inch shutoffs on each end and fire the hose into one end and put them under pressure to see if I have any leaks. You want to measure them all the time because they're going to have to, these three are going to have to fit each other when they go up on the roof. Here I am drilling the absorber plate nothing fancy I couldn't care about real dimensions there I'm just gonna put wire through there to hold there's the wire to hold the pipe onto the absorber really tight so the heat makes its own transfer it worked pretty well you know I'm getting a 40 degree rise in heat uh, for one and a half gallons this is this is the formula one square foot of collector raises one and a half gallons about 40 degrees Fahrenheit um, in a day and sometimes more because that thing's like radiating all the time. Here's my uh, one by six box on the roof which is going to contain these collector uh, panels. I put vents at the top just just you know regular water pipe two inch water pipe that's to uh, open up in summer so this thing doesn't get too hot because it gets really hot there's some mesh in the end to stop the critters from getting in and I open these up in summer because it gets to two to three hundred degrees inside these collectors any time of the year. That's the uh, bottom one, the input. We're using uh, this poly so sorinate sort of styrofoam on the bottom, one and a half inch. You've got to get that kind because the regular kind just melts. So you've got to get the right kind that's lying, lay, laying on the, on the roof there. There it is with the interior put in place the aluminum uh, absorbers and the copper pipe and it goes down into the roof and there's a metal bar it's just conduit across there and that that metal bar is to stop the plastic twin uh, wall polycarbonate plastic cover from getting so hot that it might fall onto the collector and melt up there underneath that plastic pipe in foam is a little 
piece of the differential temperature gauge which goes underneath you don't want it to heat to pick up the heat of the sun you want to pick up the heat of the pipe and that's going to go down there it is finished that's ready to go it's heating up already there's some wooden strips just there they are with his finger like between the two that's four by twelve pieces of twin polycarbonate cut to fit uh, over a ten foot long piece so it's a it's a twelve by by ten so 120 square feet here's the copper connection inside the roof to the collector and then I'm going to connect three quarter inch plastic pipe to this end and that three quarter inch plastic pipe goes right down through the house to this big old oil tank in the basement actually it's a new one and you know what I did I said to myself I've got a four stair system I'm going to build a closet which would be like a huge plenum at the back of the heater so I can drag the air over the hot tank that's a 250 gallon tank and, and, and it will heat the air well guess what it worked to some extent but I only got 20 degrees of the heat out of the tank overnight so don't do this don't do what I'm showing you now put the tank in the basement but insulate the tank right and then you've got to run radiant heat PEX pipe out of the tank either to a floor or a wall or to a radiator you won't get the heat out of the tank overnight if you don't and you really want to get that heat out so all this I'm showing you now this was an experiment as I say it did heat the air as the air dragged uh, the, the, the house air over the tank but I didn't get the heat out so this fall um, 09 I'm going to be putting PEX pipe under my basement uh, under uh, my basement ceiling right there up when you're looking up and I'll be heating my first floor with radiant heat from this tank. It's a separate loop with a small pump. That's not very expensive and it's pretty easy to do. I was trying to get around that, but it didn't work. So here's the tank, finished and plumbed in the closet. There's the plenum at the bottom sucking the air around the house. And there's uh, the rest of my air ducts are coming into that tank. Here's the bottom. This You want to put the output at the bottom. This is a shutoff. That's the other side of the differential con temperature control. There's a pump, it's a TACO um, 08, 008, it's a one eighth of a horsepower. That sends the water up to the roof and there's the pipe at the back that drains the water back. Okay, exciting moment number one. Fill the tank. Oil tank filling with water to be heated by solar. What an irony. Well, this is the big moment. I filled the tank up about halfway and I'm gonna switch the pump on and see if I can hear any lift and uh, probably run around the house and check all the joints to see if there's any leaks. Hopefully there aren't any. I do have a little leak down here. I'm gonna admit a little leak at this joint. Probably didn't tighten it too much or put enough goop on it, but anyway, I've put some uh, plumber's goopy on it for now and I don't really want to take it off so I might even weld it around there just to seal it. Are you ready? Here we go. It's running. It's running. I'm going to run around the house. I've been all around the house and as far as I can tell there's no leaks either on the collector or anywhere else. There's only two joints here and two joints up there and then the whole collector. So that looks really good. Can you hear? The water is running back into the tank. We've got a complete circuit. Yeehaw! This is a drain back system. As soon as you turn the pump off, all the water returns to the tank. There's only two or three gallons of water in the, in the collector at any given time. It heats up and drops back to the tank and keeps going round and round and heating up your tank. Uh, these are supplemental heat systems. They'll reduce your energy costs a certain percentage. Um, you'll always need another heat system as a backup. Good luck. Um, if you try this, I hope it works for you.